Six chiropractors and 15 others have been arrested and accused of insurance fraud. The U.S. attorney today charged four of those chiropractors and 15 recruiters. He says that they took advantage of Minnesota's no-fault insurance laws to collect $20 million in fraudulent claims over a number of years. These are three of the six chiropractors. As Esme Murphy found out, federal investigators say each of them were using recruiters or runners to get patients to file fake or exaggerated accident injury claims. Adam Burke of Edina is one of the chiropractors charged. He's accused of using three runners to recruit patients so they could be treated for medically unnecessary treatments. The runners received illegal kickbacks of about $1,000 for each patient they recruited. Patients got a cut of the kickbacks, too. U.S. Attorney Andy Luger said the fraud was captured on tape by undercover investigators and extends beyond those charged today. Our investigation does not end today. This is only the beginning and you can expect more charges in the future. Prosecutors say independent of each other, the six chiropractors came up with identical schemes. Under Minnesota's no-fault insurance laws, insurers will pay $20,000 of medical bills regardless of who is to blame for the accident. The result of the fraud, according to the FBI and the State Commerce Department, is higher insurance premiums. People who commit insurance fraud are stealing money from every one of us. Mark Calda of the Minnesota Insurance Federation says the charges are a welcome crackdown on abuses that he believes are widespread throughout the state. Uh, it's an encouraging sign, though, that we see the criminal prosecutors going after these guys, and it, it, unfortunately it's happening here too often, and we're paying the price for it. All six of the chiropractors as well as the runners were expected to be released from custody while the cases against them move forward. Now, I was able to reach Peter Wold, the attorney for Adam Burke, who told me his client is innocent and that he provided only necessary chiropractic services. When you look at the scope of this and even the industry says it's widespread, is there talk about maybe changing laws or regulations or policies or something? There definitely is talk about that. The insurance company and insurance industry definitely believes that is necessary, and so does the Commerce Department. They've actually been working with the legislature to try and implement reforms, and they are hoping to try and do that again this year. Yeah, because it, it hurts everyone's rates, right? Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Esme.